Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Hitchy Good. This is Hitchy Good Gaming. This is Reagan, and he's pissed because he smells hippies. But not to worry, there's any, not any hippies around here. Uh, just a bunch of cow punchers and um, let's see what am I? I'm a snake oiler. That's it. I'm a snake oiler. Whatever the heck that is, we're still figuring it out. Uh, welcome to this awesomely just crazy random but yet charming game called West of Loathing. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go back to episode one. Hey, just watch this episode. It, you don't have to see the pre previous episodes. This is just as awesome. So we're going to jump into it. Uh, like I said, it's just fantastically charming. We're going to continue when we last left our heroes. They had just made it to Dirtwater. Let me see. Uh, he's... Oh my gosh, this is crazy. All right. So, he, this guy looks like he really wants to say something. I forget his name. What is it? Pete? Crazy? Crazy Pete! Howdy, Pete. Oh, no, if you're interested in mining and such, I happen to know a little mine not too far from here. Okay, is it a good one? It ain't never been. Well, have to explore it to find out. Oh, okay. You discovered a new map location. Snake Pit Mine. That sounds like a wonderful place to go. Um, am I forgetting about anything? He says you used to see the bartender about renting that room in Dirtwater. It'd be nice to have a base of operations. That's what we need is a base of operations. Thanks for the reminder. Room for rent. Inquire within. Thanks. All right. There's crazy eyed Jim. When he says you approach, we're going to comb his mane. He makes so, sort of a glurk noise. <laughs> we're going to leave him alone. This water is for horses only. Jewel Saloon, Dirtwater Mercantile. This is going to be fun. All right. What the heck is... All right, here we go. Well, howdy there. Always nice to see the new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Hitch. Hi. Glad to know you, Hitch. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. I saw the sign out front. Everybody has a room. I have a shot of bourbon. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get a uh, shot of bourbon here. Let's see what let's see what bourbon does for us. And while we're taking a shot of that, we'll take some Neebs Gaming beer. Do y'all know how they make beer? I'm just kidding. This is like a little koozie. They call it a freaker. I got it. There's a limited. It, if you haven't got one, it's too late. But these are awesome. Keep your beer nice and cozy. All right. Let's have a shot of bourbon. Five minute coming right up. We got an item. Dirt water bourbon. Anything else? Hmm. Saw the sign out front advertising the room. That's right. Finest room in the house and plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella, and he paid a... We got to fix this piano. And he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by... You see, using like a decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Gratis. Wow, great. All right, so we're lucky. That's cool. All right, let's see what we can do about this. This is awful. I'm going to check out that spit cup here in a minute because great things are in spit cups. The kind of player is not very good at his job. Hang on, I think when my girlfriend played this for, I got... Okay, what can I get for? Hey, Lloyd. Need any help with anything? Well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, something's going wrong with our player piano player. I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, I poked around in him myself, but I lost the key. Suddenly taking a strange turn. Let's go see what the heck is going on over here. The air player is not very good at his job. <laughs> We're gonna try to fix him. You lift up the player, the player piano's, the player piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Oh, I need a needle. I really wanted to fix that because it's annoying. Who's this dude? The old man stares off in the distance, listening to the piano. He doesn't react to it all. This is a platoon, which is sort of a brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor, because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with platoons already. Sicko. I got a ring out of it. Look, the Jewel Saloon is a pretty nice saloon. Go. Actual glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit, but this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside 
inside, inside it isn't fancy red <laughs> tobacco spit. Oh man, I gotta find out what's going on. Here we go again. All right, fine. You're now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been clean or empty because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low, low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as fast as it accumulates. Yep. That's good, right? No, that's bad because it's the only water part of spit that evaporates. This bra bu brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth, distilled and concentrated until it's consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts in Splatoon anymore because they bounce out. <laughs> oh. We... oh, we're searching it. You're about to put your hand to a bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup, except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah. Blurp. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding, except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Oh, we're going to keep searching. Oh, you found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine, a useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. Hooray! <laughs> These guys must fall asleep during a brawl. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so here's the guest room. Your room at the Jewel Saloon. Oh, look at this. Like, even the from the perspective you're at, the room, that's neat. It, it moves a little bit. That's cool. See right here? It's the little things. It's your bed. You can sleep. I don't know what's good sleep. This is there's a postcard on this little table. Take it. You got an animal. Blank postcard. We'll use that for something. You look at yourself in the mirror and sort yourself. You call yourself a red-footed, good-for-nothing jerk. You can, in effect, angry. Sort yourself again. You better not insult yourself anymore. You get any angrier, you're liable to pass out. Okay, all right. It's a Pete's bed. Talk to your partner. Howdy, hey, boss. What's shaking? What do you think we should do next? Well, now, if you're in a hurry to push west, I say a trail get us there. I might fast a horseback. You got a railroad camp marked on that map of yours, right? Oh, yeah. All right, we might do that. What is this down here? Oh, 3%, 3 muscle, mysticality, and moxie. I still don't know. You're madder than a hornet, and your anger level gets higher than one. You'll pass out from rage. It's your bed. Let's sleep. You Okay, you go to sleep. You dream that you're locked in jail with crazy-eyed Jim in a spooky old house. After that, you're torn apart by rats. You wake up scream. Oh, my God. And hungry. And sober. That's mosey. Day two, the second day of the rest of your life. <laughs> There's two doors over here. Now, what was the other door? Let's go. Is it the same thing? Oh, it's outside. Okay. All right. Now, I want to go back inside and talk. See what's going on. They're in grace conversation. Leave them be. The gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. Whoa! These guys are having a spirit discussion about guns and which of theirs is nicer. I've had a few like that. Man points to sign on the counter. Slop. Five meat. Buy some slop. Got a plate of slop. All right. I was kind of hungry, wasn't I? There's a sign that says, see bartender for darts. Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? <laughs> Stay. Ooh, check this out. Hit it again. We need more cowbell. I love this game. I saw this. I was like, I need to set this back up. It's wonderful. I feel like I'm actually making a difference in this world. Got to fix that. Before the chef cuts ingredients for cooking, it puts where he parks his beer. Because every time I mention beer in here, I'm going to take a drink. This pot belly stove is a pot full of slop. A pot stove top slop pot. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing in here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. So you nosy type, eh? Well, I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm out of salt, Peter, and I need someone to go pick up some more. Salt, Peter? What the? Isn't that used to make gunpowder and other things? Look, who's a chef here? Me or you? Okay, okay. Where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp. 
because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in a little green jar. As the chef marks the point port on your map, discover a new location, Fort Cowardice. Okay, be right back. We're going to fix him and the poker room. The last poker game was went a little odd, so... The poster says rules of poker followed by hundreds of weird rules in tiny print. A player caught with a poker deuce immediately loses the game. Pocket deuce. Okay, it's weird. A straight beats a royal full house. A royal full house. Jacks are wild unless accompanied by four nines. A pair of, a pair of threes of clubs and... Three sevens of spades count as a straight. Well, okay, whatever. Table's full up. The table. All right, let's see. Let's make some money here. You sit down at the poker table. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady to your right and introduces herself as Roberta, and the player to your left says his name is Biff. All right, Roberta and Biff. I think I can take these guys on. Dealer tells you the ante is 20 meat. I'm going to ante up. Dealer gives you the deck a shuffle and then deals. A hand of cards glides across the table to you. A really terrible hand. Four nines. And three deuces. It's the first round. The pot is 60 meat, and your estimate you estimate your chance of winning at around 20 percent. Hmm. Check 10 percent win chance. What the heck? Um, I don't know what I want to do. Let's see. Let's just do the craziest thing. Glamorously raise. The dealer goes, uh, let's see, uh, you grin slightly and raise by 20. You lose 20 meat. Move on. It's the second round of betting. The pot is 120 meat, and you estimate your chance of winning at around 20%. Okay, you can cleverly raise. Glamorously strategize. Oh, let's, let's raise again. You give your cards a wry, appraising look, then raise by 20 meat. It's the last round of betting. Time to do or die. The pot is 108 meat, and you estimate your chance of winning at around 20%. Um, grit your teeth and strategize, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's the last round of bidding. Time to do it. Uh, you're, you cock your hat at a jauntier angle. 20% win chance. Reveal your cards. You furrow your brow and turn over your cards. It's a straight. Roberta smiles broadly and reveals her cards. A South Carolina flush. Biff has a straight. You lost. Boo. That is awful. Let's get out of here. Do something adventurous. Holy crap. They just, these people just like pointing guns at one another. Hey, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Look at me. Hey, babe. Come here. I can make you happy. Uh, it's their water post office sponsored by LTT. What is this? I was selling flowers. I'm going to buy some. You got an item. Sweet smelling. Thank you, mister. Oh, I probably don't think in certain places. Okay. Um, there's a shovel. I thought I had one. Modern snake oiler. This is an old back issue of a popular magazine for snake oilers. I just go new snake oiling tool. Okay. 500, huh? I've only got a thousand. Disposable binoculars. Use to discover a new map location if you can find a high vantage point. Want to look at more than one thing through them? Too bad. <laughs> Plum pudding. They call this plum pudding because it's made of goat milk extracted from plump udders. Ugh. Um, increase your speed by one. Crackers made with highly caffeinated cola instead of water. They sound revolting. So they're soda crackers. Tooth powder is the less convenient precursor to toothpaste for use with less convenient precursors to toothbrushes. And it gives you increase your muscle muscle. The end of sausages. This can buy a stubby sausage made of blood and a syrup that is also made mostly of blood. Okay. I got a little dude here who's wanting a little bit of attention here. Okay, calm down. This is Toby, by the way. He wants to get on the stream. He wants to get on. Say, hey, this is my girlfriend's dog, obviously. You're supposed to look at the camera when you're on camera, dude. You're supposed to look at the camera. He's learning. He's okay. Buddy, yeah. All right, so let's get back to the game. All right, I could really think. Um, I, I want to get this modern snake oil. I want to see what it does, and uh, we're gonna get out of here. Sundry provisions, miscellaneous providenture. All right. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can call this girl and give her some flowers. 
Hey, baby, I got flowers. I got flowers. I got flowers. Never works. Water post office becoming a lot post office boxes. One of those newfangled telegram machines. Hi, I'm Hitch Good. Email for me? Mm, nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. All right, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, let him know you, what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be, uh, oh, that's one of them prepaid ones. I'll be zero meat then. Hey, thanks. That's cool. Didn't cost anything. Clerk clears her throat. Howdy, howdy. Are you the sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. I can be sheriff. Um, do you have law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you been to sheriff school? I hate when they ask that. Have you been to sheriff school? Have you been to doctor school? Like, who cares? No. Do you have an existing relationship with Dirtwater's local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? I, I, no, no. Then what, may I ask, in tarnation makes you think you'd be qualified to be sheriff. I, I just I just assumed, lady, you just assumed that you could mosey into town and become sheriff on your first day? Well, when you when you put it that way, she snorts. If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who wanders in here thinking they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap on iron, I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. Sorry. It's okay. Like I said, it happens all the time. Need any, any help until you find a new sheriff? Sure, if you're in good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Water posters are back there. Sales are over yonder. She points behind her and off to the right, respectively. Take your leave. Let's go. It's a wanted poster. No way. You misread it. It's a wasted poster? Close enough. Wasted. The stripy hat gang. For grand theft paint and tasteless hat vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. A thousand meat reward. Interesting. Dirty, rotten paint thieves and low-down, no-fashion-sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Yeah, let's go after him. Avern Canyon. House in the desert. For mortgage, non-payment, squatting, and general public nuisance. Also for murdering two collection agents. Last thing at the house in the desert. 500 meat. Hmm. You wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go after them? Yes. The house in the desert. Got it. We're good to go. Oh, I just wanted to say hi. All right, lot available, lot available, lot of it. Why are there so many angry women walking around here? A lot available, a lot available, not a lot. You saw the sign, there's nothing past here. Not a lot, not a lot available past this time. All right, so let's go to our map. Let's go to the, um, oh wow, look at this vast world. Goodness, it, it means it's actually kind of big, that's crazy. All right, so let's go to Fort Cowardice and see if we can get the, uh, oh my gosh, look at the horse print. You find a wrecked bank stagecoach with a strong box in the back. It's too heavy to carry, but it's too locked to open. Need a needle. Just like the old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make a cannonade. You climb up the watchtower, take a look around. Nice view from up here. If you had the binoculars, maybe it'd let you do something. Administration. This cabin is perfectly empty, but there are a handful of boring personnel records in the back of one drawer. Yeah. They're incredibly boring. No, really, I want the details. Fine, you're eating one. Becky Smith, Secretary of Pay Grade C3, birth 19, or 1840, I guess. This day's 89, accrued sick days. Satisfied? No, another. Ezra Wolf, Pay Grade 06. B plus, killed in action. Satisfied? No, another. Rowena Hubbard, not the Cannoneer Division, pay grade zero to I might be missing some jokes here, so just leave them in the comments if I am. Wounded in action. Satisfied? Now you're just looking at the same ones you've read before. What's wrong with you? I can't get enough. <laughs> This is once a reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for it to receive will be a free trip to the dump. I think there's still some good mess, mess left, because it's a mess all. Take it. Hard tack, hard tack, military grade whiskey. Blech. Stove is beyond cleaning. Spice rack. 
Shaker of salt, Peter. Little green unlabeled jars. Hopefully the stuff the chef was looking for. You gotta find out what's going on. Wow. In general, there, this is a door. More specifically, it's the door to the general's office. Even more specifically, it's the locked door to the general's office. Can you just tell us that in one breath? I need to find... Uh, hey, hey, Bill. Okay, it's the same place. All right. Hear the sound of several goblin, goblins snoring inside this tent. Go in, guns blazing. Let's do this. Oh, see, I got people on my side now. Oh, dang, that kind of hurt. This is a little rough. Holy crap, they're going to kill him. All right. That dynamite. Boom. All right. That, that helps. I wonder if that ends my turn. I think it does. All right. So. Get, ooh. People hit the target with his lantern, dealing eight hot damage. Okay. So he just swings lanterns at people. People give you or whoever a pep talk, raising all stats by two. It's just... Well, yeah! Alright, that's kind of cool. I was kind of hoping they. Oh no! Pete! Why? Why? They're gonna kill me with this. That's not cool. Well, at least I got another target. I don't know if I can... I can't take another hit like this. Oh, no! 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 I'm dead! I never die in this game! Alright, so what happens once you're defeated? Last thing you see before your vision goes black is all of his goblins getting back into the cots and falling asleep again. You gain an effect. Angry. Dang it. Whew! That was a little rough. Now, where's Pete? I'm really hoping, like, okay, he's there. That's cool. I'm gonna take these goblins on again, but. This shelf still has some unlooted medical supplies on it. Render them looted. Got an army filled trauma kit. Bolster supply of medical goods. Spence of the shelves. Military grade whiskey. Crack the safe. Oh, it needs safe cracking. There's a lot of stuff I can't hear do here. Cot is soaked with blood. Based on the papers and anatomical diagrams scattered across the surface, you're guessing this desk belonged to Fort Cowardice's nurse. Look at the diagrams. This is a bunch of disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. Look at the papers. Papers are mostly just boring medical records, dental, whatever that means, dog types, lamentations, uh, and box haven't been discovered yet, that kind of thing. Hey, wait, what is this? You look like it might be important. Marching orders, okay. It's kind of cool. The sign says toilet and goblin, which makes it seem pretty likely a goblin's going to use this tin's toilet. No way you're going to go in there. Ips mishap, mishap definitely got somebody fired. An unusually sized cannonball. All right, I want to take these guys on one more time. Going guns blazing. And now I've actually got med kits, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to kill him right off the bat. Right off the bat. Right off the bat, what the heck? No, let's give him somebody else to shoot at. And now I don't have the dynamite. I'm probably still gonna. What? What? No! This is not looking good. I haven't got one hit on them yet. Alright, it wasn't as bad as it could have been, but holy crap. I don't seem to be quite as strong this time. This is going to be rough. Alright, let's use one of our med kits. Now hopefully, if that uses my turn... Oh, let's just throw it up in the air and dump it on our own heads. Okay. 
I still don't think this is gonna work. This is not good. This is not good. save my medical kit I really do Let's just shoot this guy see how yeah not gonna win again gotta get a little tougher before we go in here defeat you get so angry about losing that fight you pass out what you wake up the next morning in your bed Pete must carry you back here if you got knocked out you're a little sore but not otherwise any worse for wear pretty hungry though and sober how awful day three you get the idea <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Let's go talk to the cook, because I know. I guess we still have these. Got that salt pitter? Yep, got it right here. Yeehaw! Okay, the next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called murder pepper, because it's really spicy, because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. They're growing the area outside of town. You shouldn't be able to find one if you run around a while. <laughs> I love it. <gasps> There's Cactus Bill. Didn't expect to see you around these parts. Well, I gotta admit, I got a little envious when I saw you leave Orange Springs. I figured I'd hit you right out here. Out west to see what I could see. And just look at this place. So much hustle, so much bustle. There sure is a lot of both these days. Hey, nice pot. Thank you kindly. I wanted to see him again. So what's new? Well, to be honest, what's new is a profound sense of longing and loneliness. I'm sorry to hear that, Bill. Well, it is what it is. I was hoping I'd run across a similarly lonely cactus lady somewhere out here. Failing that, a normal human lady looking lady. A normal human lady looking to marry a cactus. No luck? Not yet. Of course, getting around is a bit of a challenge, but us cactuses live a long time. I'm sure I'll meet somebody. Someday. Oh. I'll keep an eye out. Maybe we got we gotta find a date for Cactus Bill. Heck yeah, I sure would appreciate it. Take your leave. We got that that's if there's anything I want to do in this game, it's it's do that. Let's see. We need to read something here. So I can learn, learn a new snake oiling skill. There's an article with a list of tips and tricks for moving really quickly. It gives quick on the draw, a skill that increases your speed. There's a letter to the editor from a woman in Wyoming who had an amazing idea. What if you shoot some shot somebody three times instead of just once? It gives Fan Hammer a combat skill that lets you quickly do three range attacks. That's a recipe for a new kind of snake oil concoction. It looks like it might come in handy in a fight. Gives good medicine. The skill allows it lets you recover HP and combat. Well, that's good. I could have used that a minute ago. Oh, you got to get one? You want to load round after round in a nearby cactus? Just see how it feels. Oh, no! A nearby cactus! Unfortunately, a spray spark from your shot sets the magazine on fire, and you're unable to prevent it from being destroyed magazine as long as it's not the newspaper shoot first and shoot again then shoot again and then ask questions if there's anything left to ask questions of <laughs> oh yeah do anything with this all right so get on the map get the desert house out here as you turn a corner, you come face to face with three bandits pushing a large barrel marked TNT down the trail. I know what to shoot now. The four of you stare at each other for a moment, unsure of how to deal with this potentially violent happenstance. Now for cover and fight them. Let's do it. Get behind cover, you old man. Oh, you have to have three AP. I gotta figure out how to do that. Oh. It shot him instead. See what kind of damage they do to us. Oh no! No! This poor guy. That's what we need to do. Alright, he might die in this, but... Uh, 
I was hoping I'd hit him a little harder. No! Pete! This is, uh, turned out to be better than it was before, for sure. What kind of options do you have here? Oh, okay, it's all this. This should take care of him. No! Get wrecked! Yeehaw, did, level, did I level two? You got an item, black denim pants. That's exactly what I need. Gain 37 meat, hooray! As you dismount and approach the house where the fenders are holed up, you hear a voice from inside saying, what was that? Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid full on fracas. I don't like fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, yeah, sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so, thanks. All right, guys, so right now we're going to call it quits. I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, liking my channel, liking this video, sharing it with your friends. And, uh, hey, check out this on uh, Steam and make your own adventure. Be a be a cow puncher or what else was it, a bean, bean thrower or something like that and just see the different things you can do in this game. It's really fun, really sarcastic. Uh, but anyways, we will see you next week. Next Sunday, we post a new video. We'll catch you on the flip side. Hit you good. Signing off.